Uh, c- can you hear me? Sort of. You sound really far away, like you've got a bucket over your head. Well, that at least sounds more plausible than the truth. Sorry for the crappy reception. I have to do a tricky yoga pose and balance on one foot just to get a signal in here. Wait, you're not calling from prison, are you? No, not yet. You're not going to believe where I am right now, but I'll tell you anyways. It's like, I feel like I just wandered onto the set of one of those old mummy horror flicks. Ew, let's hope that's where the resemblance ends. I'm serious. There's this huge secret room under the Oval Office, and it's decorated like a pyramid out of ancient Egypt. Under the Oval Office? Stop messing with me. Hey, I don't even believe it, and it's happening to me. I found a secret staircase under the Oval Office. I kid you not, it's like I'm in a pyramid. Freemasons are weird. Wow, I can't believe the Secret Service even gave you permission to be in there. They don't let anybody in that room. Yeah, well, um, you know, technically... Don't even tell me. Yeah, I kind of broke into the Oval Office without permission. I know what you're gonna say. But what else was I supposed to do, Stella? Henry's in trouble, and I can't just let him die in some forgotten nook of the White House. No one else is going to help him. It's up to me. So, what's your next move? Henry's trail seems to end here, in this room. I guess I must be close to unraveling this little mystery, but I still don't know what happened to him yet. Fortunately, I found a cipher that may just give me all the answers I need. A cipher? That sounds interesting. Hey, I'm getting another call. I gotta go. Um, good luck, Miranda. Watch out for those mummy curses. Well, that was abrupt. Is someone there? Someone, well, nice? Henry? No, thank God it's you, Miranda. It it is you, isn't it? Oh my God, I'm so relieved. I've been looking absolutely everywhere for you. Well, except here. Oh, I knew you'd find me, my dear. Sit tight. I'm going to go look for something to pry open this lid. Now, don't bother. It's sealed with some sort of Masonic mechanism. I'm quite trapped. I'm not just leaving you here. 
I'm afraid you must. It's the only way to set me free. Believe me, I've had considerable time to mull over this problem. I've concluded that this sarcophagus was part of some sort of ritual linked to the model of Solomon's temple. You've no doubt already noticed the missing mirrors. What are you saying? Listen very closely. You've found the code words on the sarcophagus. Decrypt the codes. They will tell you where to look for the mirrors. Return them to the temple and solve the puzzle. That should cause the sarcophagus to open. Here, take this. I've written the codes down. I guess I can do that, but the Secret Service is after me. Yes, you might want to avoid those people. In fact, don't trust anyone. Now please, hurry. I've been without food or water for a few days, and I'm absolutely famished. Also, I have to pee. mirrors hello Miranda uh-oh uh-oh was right search her please here it is sir no so it's true you found the old encryption device invented by Thomas Jefferson himself what superb craftsmanship you you knew I had it of course I knew your good friend Stella well she's my good friend too give us the room please sir I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, I'm sure Miranda's prepared to be reasonable. I'm going to give you another chance to save your friend the professor. You're a brilliant girl to have come so far, Miranda. You deserve to finish what you started. I don't get it. Why would you help me? Because... I believe it's time to bring the White House's oldest secrets to light. I suspect the South Lawn may have something you're looking for. You can use the door to the right. And here. You may have your device back. Thank you. So what about the Secret Service? Oh, I'm sure I can persuade them to let you go. I am a politician, after all. It's what we do. Stella! I thought you might call. Stella, you little schemer. Sorry, dude. What can I say? I guess you don't know everything after all. How could you? We were such good friends. Hey. Not all of us have a big trust fund to put us through college. I needed the money, and Whitaker was willing to pay for the information about Henry's activities. Trust fund? Stella, my parents are dead. You still have yours. Do you really feel like I'm the privileged one? Whatever. So I guess you blabbed Henry's whole investigation to Whitaker. I've been spying on Henry for months. He's into some crazy stuff. Did you know George Washington could have become the king of America? That's ridiculous. Yes, a few people floated the idea, but no one took it seriously. You're just repeating what it says in the history books, but Henry figured out the truth. You're saying that's what this is all about? You know what? Why am I even talking to you? I shouldn't believe anything you have to say. 
It's your fault Henry's missing, you know. If something happened to him... You should be more worried about yourself, don't you think? I heard the Secret Service isn't too happy with you lately. If I were you, I'd go home and leave Henry to his fate. I imagine you would. Goodbye, Stella. I can't say it's been real. Come on, George Washington? King of America? The father of democracy. <laughs> Stella's insane. I mean, if there really was a conspiracy to make Washington king, they would need a crown. Like the one Henry mentioned in his journal. I must be going insane too, because this is all starting to make sense.
Thank you, my dear. I knew you'd save me. Henry! My god, look! Oh my god! <laughs> look! Freeze! Both of you! Don't even twitch! She's found the professor. Is that a crown? That, my dear, is the crown of America. Once the crown of King Solomon, lost in 586 BC when the Babylonians destroyed his temple. Recovered by the Knights Templar in 1120, refurbished in 1782 by a splintered group of Freemasons who wanted to put George Washington on a throne and plunge the United States into another monarchy. After Washington's apparent refusal, it was kept in secret within the White House until the British raided the building in 1814 and spirited it away on a ship bound for England. It was lost again when the ship sank off the coast of Nova Scotia. I found the shipwreck and recovered the crown, but lost it again when Freemason agents stole it in the night. They evidently brought it back here. But who put you in the sarcophagus, Henry? Let's bring you two in, and maybe we can sort all this out. Look out! Hand over those guns, if you please. I can't allow you to bring anyone in for questioning for obvious reasons. Thank you for solving this mirror thing of a Bob Miranda. After I put Henry in that sarcophagus, I realized I had no idea how to get the crown out of the pyramid. <laughs> then you came along, things fell right into place. Now it's mine. <laughs> no treasure in the world is more valuable. I wonder how rich I am now. Ah! Hands off. I belong to a small order of Freemasons dedicated to protecting the secret of the crown. So, can you people keep a secret? I guess things are back to normal. Mm-hmm, I'd say so. After everything we just went through, it feels kind of strange to be back at school again. Well, you've just had an adventure, my dear. You may finish college, but don't expect things to be normal anymore. You've changed. Your mother would be very proud of you. I know I am. You two again? We're back! Miranda, Professor, nice to see you back at school. Um, look, if this is about the brick wall, it was broken when I found it. Relax. We're just here to thank you on behalf of the Secret Service for your assistance. You did your country proud. Give us a call if you ever need any help. I don't plan on being in that kind of trouble again, but thanks. <laughs> so, uh, what's next, Henry? Well, as a matter of fact, the crown wasn't the only important treasure the Phantom was carrying in its hull. I suspect that the long staff listed in the ship's manifest is actually the Spear of Destiny. I'm sure with just a little help... 